This is the sketch that I've worked up and now I'm going to draw over it with the dotty liner brush and as you can see I am trying to keep the line work clean and neat all the way throughout so that I can have some fairly solid color fills behind it. I don't want the line work to get too busy but I also don't want it to be too much the same all the way throughout the drawing so I will increase the density of the line work here and there for some interest. When I draw the background I'm changing the composition slightly and you'll notice that I occasionally turn the sketch layer off so I can see how everything feels without that sketch and this helps me to make better decisions to balance things out and make the composition work. When drawing the clouds, I make the decision to actually do some layers of clouds, some in front of the others, and I may change my mind about how this is going to work later, but for now, I think it's a pretty good decision. And when I'm done with this part of the drawing, I have made it so that the clouds are on their own layer, the background elements like the trees and so on are also on a separate layer, and the figure is in the foreground on another layer. This allows me to then lock the transparency of each of those layers and change the colors. So the darkest colors go with the figure, the medium dark colors go with the background, and the lightest colors go with the clouds. Here is the coloring process for this illustration. Again, I'm using that Versa brush for the colors, and what I'm doing mostly is making selections with my lasso tool and then coloring inside of those selections, which allows me to move the stylus in a much more random and uncontrolled way to get some of that color variation that the brush provides. My goal here is for it to feel like it's approaching the end of the day, so the colors in the foreground and the middle ground, they're going to be a little bit darker, maybe a little less saturated. The sky is warm, so I'm trying to keep the colors warm as well for those areas. Um, I don't want there to be a disconnect um, with the color harmony. Now this is always tricky to do if I'm just using the color picker as you can see in this demonstration. Normally I like to kind of pre-mix a few colors to keep things simple but in this instance I decided to just go for it and I don't usually do that. So you'll see me making some changes here and there. I'm working on several different layers to make things easy for myself, which of course is very easy with Photoshop, and this allows me to then go back and make adjustments to different areas in the illustration without having to make new selections. So I can select the clouds, paint them on a single layer, and then if I want to make any changes later, I can go back to that layer and just adjust accordingly. The same goes for the outfit that she's wearing and for the section of uh, trees that I painted earlier. But for the most part, I'm going to stick with the palette that you see here. I will make some adjustments to the shirt and to the pants, and you can see me trying some different things here and there. I'm also trying a few things with the sky, but ultimately things stay pretty much the way you see them. Some final adjustments here, and then a couple of color adjustments with some other layers on top using soft light. And then finally, we wind up with a pretty nice picture that feels like it's got some good harmony in it and I like the way the final result feels and um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this process. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back with more I'm sure in the future. Happy painting everybody and I'll see you next time.